Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on Bob Boy. In this video, I'll be telling you guys how to get the Devourer set in the new Pirate Slayers update 1.5. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. My current goal is 3,000 subscribers, and also join the Discord down below so you guys can know when I'm streaming and when the new video is out. But yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright, so if you want to see the actual buffs for the Devourer set, you just go to the encyclopedia. It's right here. It's a little bit down. Um, so yeah, what is actually in this um, set is going to be bottoms, a mask, and then a top, and then one per weapon for the scythe, katana, and also the fans. Um, so yeah, first I'll be going over the actual armor. So the bottom and the top you get from Mugen Train. Mugen Train is 5k per ticket, so it's a bit pricey, and it only happens every hour. The mask, on the other hand, you can farm whenever you want. It's from tier 5. There's currently 4 tier 5 bosses. I will make separate videos on how to solo uh, Mugen Train, because it is now possible to solo it. Then I'll also make a separate video on the boss rotation, but pretty much you just boss rotate for the mask, and then you do move and train for the bottom and the top. Now, the weapons are a bit harder to do, so I'll be explaining how you actually did. So, first of all, you want to go to one of these guys, the horse guy. Um, if you guys don't know, then you do have to buy this new teleport, which is the Devourer's Jaw. And once when you have that, you just go to a horse and then tap on the Devourer's Jaw, and then it will take you to here. Now, once when you spawn in, you'll spawn in right here, you go to this blacksmith guy. And then pretty much this is where all the weapons will be. So from what I've heard is the katana just takes three random katanas out of your inventory. Pretty much just takes them from your inventory. You have to have 150k win and also 10 ore. And then boom, you get the katana. The scythe is a bit harder to get. I believe you have to have the stool scythe from the Mugen train. So once again, you're down to form Mugen train. But if you have the stool scythe, all that you need is 150k win and 10 ore. And the fans, obviously you'll just need the war fans and then 150k and 10 ore. So, pretty much, to actually, like, get all of these, you're just gonna have to farm a lot of Wen, a lot of Ore, and then for the Scythe, you're gonna have to do Mood and Train, then for the Armor, you're gonna have to do Mood and Train and Boss Rotation. But yeah, that's pretty much how you get all the new items. Um, but yeah, I can pretty much go over what the actual buffs are for everything. So, the fans and all the weapons and all that just do extra damage. There's really nothing different about that. It's pretty much just better versions of, like, um, the Udawar R ones and the Mood and Train drops. It's pretty much just better versions. Now, the bottoms is 120 max health, 5 health regen, 5 damage reduction, plus 3 sword damage, plus 50 stamina, 5% all damage boost, 30% blood multiplier, which is what the Devourer set runs on, and 3% weapon damage, so overall, it's probably the best bottoms in the game. And then, there is the top, which gives 220 health, 10% health regen, 5% damage reduction, 2 sword, 100 stamina, 10% all damage boost, which is really good, 50% blood multiplier, and plus 2 weapon damage. Then the mast, which you get from tier 5s, is plus 60 health, plus 2 block, plus 1 sword, plus 50% stamina, 20% blood, 2.5 all damage boost, and also 1 damage. So all the armor is really good, probably one of the best in the game. Um, I would say probably only like the Doma set might be better. Um, but yeah, it's definitely top 3 best in the game, and obviously the weapons are going to be some of the strongest. Um, I will have a separate video on the polar set probably right after this one. But yeah, that is how you get all of the devourer stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and also join my Discord down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.